Bill Murray as well mm -hmm. on keyboards. Good morning to you. Good morning, Camille. Good morning. How are you? Delighted and to be you're, here. You're going to sing, which is terrible to ask it, a person <laughs> to sing this time in the After morning. After rolling in this morning, yeah. <laughs> Were you performing last night? Uh, we did an in-store in Tower Records, which was good fun. Oh. Um, I had remembered I'd done one about 10 years ago when I first started, and it was uh, me and the sound guy. So the fact it was full last night was actually, it, it got me over the those nightmare. Those 10 years. <laughs> Your entire life has transformed in those 10 years. Yeah, I used to be an architect before, and I took the mad idea to become a singer which didn't seem very stable but now seems a, to be kind of I, a good idea. Do you, know, I, do you know what I love the idea you were an architect in Berlin mm. weren't you yeah. and I just love the idea that you used to go to these cabaret now see I have these Liza things Minnelli. of Liza Minnelli <laughs> and, and like those smoky seedy cabaret clubs in Berlin and I love it and I just want I wanted to be there with you yeah, was it anything oh, like that? It was it was really amazing and it's kind of full force theatrics and drama oh, and I just what it. I love you yeah. know and really magical kind of I suppose you know, it's kind of full-on storytelling but it, it was where I fell in love with that type of storytelling mm -hmm. um, first which you know first of all the likes of Kurt Vile and Jack Brell yeah. but then later on led to the likes of Nick Cave and Tom Waits but um, and kind of then you know that led on to being a kind of like full-on chameleon on stage and it came from that world really because you just think Berlin oh, cabaret yeah. clubs it's the real thing that real mm. stuff <laughs> cigarette oh. holders yeah. 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 big boots yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's what it is. But well, you said it yourself, and it was interesting that you said you're not just a singer. I, I've seen you perform. And yeah. It's theatre. It is yeah. storytelling. Yeah. You bring a world. You bring many worlds. And you said the word chameleon, and in so many of your mm. reviews, the word chameleon is used. Because if you haven't seen Camille's show, I'm amazed at how many different personas you bring. I'm exhausting myself <laughs> on the amount. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, it is about becoming different people in every song. And in a way, it's all about emotional things. I'm half French and Irish, and I like a sad song, but I love good fun too. Um, so it is about kind of um, showing sometimes a vulnerable side or showing a tough side or showing a sexy side. So, I mean, I get into trouble with those kind of images. <laughs> That's one aspect no. of me. I'm always embarrassed going. but. Um, it, it allows you to change and be uh, become a different character so for the first part of the show people aren't sure who you are mm -hmm. and then at the end the highest compliment is oh I thought you were just gonna sing but you were all these different people it means that you can bring them into that world and if you don't write your own songs in this wonderful country which is about singer-songwriter at least you take others and you make them your own so but it's about doing that. That must keep it interesting for you as well. Oh yeah right? I mean to, when you're performing when you're on tour to have that sort of variety in your show. Yeah I mean it's like you know, I love doing acting and stuff too, and it, it's almost like an actor singing a monologue. So I love the fact yeah. that you could take an amazing Tom Waits song, which is kind of like a theatrical little gem in its own mm -hmm. right, make a story. I mean, the cover of the album has this rabbit in it, or it's white <laughs> rabbit that lights up, and people are like, right, a bit eccentric, as you can see there. <laughs> see Someone there, thought, yeah. is she like Anya? And I said, the rabbit might give it away. <laughs> um, that she's not. <laughs> but the rabbit turns up on stage. It's actually been painted recently for some exhibition, and I was going, it's getting a lot of airplay himself. I must say no rabbits yeah, but no, the making no, of Camille's show. Yeah. But, but little Dorothy, red Dorothy, sparkly shoes. I love kind of setting up like the stage has um, old vintage dresses hanging with invisible mm. fish gut uh, uh, and um, I've put lights in them now so you can kind of conduct the show. So it's all, as you say, it is a theatrical, theatrical experience, experience and yeah. old recordings of like this show has old recordings of, you know, the child catcher and, you know, things Ooh. that are kind of evocative for the audience. So you get, you know, a bit more than you plan for. And I try some Sometimes I'm still on stage and sometimes I'm rolling around. So it allows you to kind of pretend, well, that's not me, that's the song. And, and was it the, the, the wonderful Agnes Bernal who yep. said to you, like, I, I remember her from years ago, amazing. and just amazing saying to, saying to you, like, you, it's more of a, it's an act. Yeah, and it was great. She was holding a glass of, um, I think, whiskey and smoking at the same yeah, time. So yeah. I was like, wow. <laughs> uh, she was wonderful. I mean, I saw her in her 70s, uh, the real thing. Like, yeah. I mean, I'd just come back from Berlin and I saw her and I thought we had this amazing lady yeah. who um, was ju just blew me away. You know, she captivated the audience, didn't move an inch, just told amazing yeah. stories. Mm. And the and, voice. Yeah, and she yeah. just, you know, gravelly, and yeah. she said, you're better actress than singer. And I thought, maybe it's possible after all. So <laughs> that's when my career in architecture, I started going, hmm, <laughs> you know, uh, that I might do this. But it was I certainly, she was somebody who made me go, you know, I fell, I fell more in love with it yeah. than ever. Like. The notion of you drafting away in an architect's <laughs> office, I find, oh, having no. seen your show. I well, Fergal remembers it in my little, you know, grey suits, you know, going off to work. Were you miserable? 
Um, no, I wasn't miserable, I but I certainly knew. I never you miserable. Yeah, I think you would like. <laughs> well, you would sort I don't of make, know. Make, the highs make and the lows. Most of what you dramatic. Had. Yeah. I, I think I knew. I think I was. I, I think the builder said. You know, they said they knew something was kind of like. Said we enjoyed you coming down to site, but it was the pink flowers and the hair and the little pink booties. We were a bit. We thought <laughs> we're going to lose this one soon. I'd, <laughs> to I'd the say gypsy you, you would have come up with some fabulous buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Europe, Europe would be dotted <laughs> with Camille structures. <laughs> well, it could. It, it, it was. Glitter on the outside. <laughs> there would have been glitter. They do say, you know, if they find glitter or somewhere, they go, she's been here. Camille's been here. <laughs> now, you're going on tour. Obviously, we're going to put the tour dates up on yeah. your new album, Changeling Is mm. Out. But we want you to perform for us here. What are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing you... Cork and the Olympian. Don't yeah, um, next week, she was really excited. We're going to do um, one of my favourites, Nick Cave. We're going to do a kind of reduced version for you just of um, the ship song. So okay. Take it away. Come sail your ships around me And burn your bridges down We make a little history, baby Every time you come around We talked about it all find our moral grounds but when I crawl into your arms everything it comes tumbling down come sail your ships around me and burn